Hey, it's Bonefist, Peterborough's first real superhero. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make non-Newtonian fluid armor. Now, uh, what you're going to need for this is some cornstarch. I have about uh, two cups here, just over two cups, and uh, some water. And, you know, th that's pretty much it. Just to make some basic, you know, it's called like oobleck or, you know, non-Newtonian fluid. I do have a measuring cup for the water here. But we're going to use this, this bag as the main kind of plate that we're going to be building for the actual armor piece itself for the the vest but uh the, the only reason I, I would say to keep it in plate form not to permanently put it on is because it does dry out and i've heard that it does get pretty stanky i've never left it around to uh leave it get that to get that smelly but some tape uh something to mix it with like i said the water and the cornstarch i just have the the box here it has a little bit left in it in case i need it but uh the bag of course is going to act as the plate so you're just going to get two cups or like I said I have a little bit more than two cups in here and you're going to take a cup of water I know this doesn't look the clearest what we're going to go for here is some purple non-Newtonian fluid you can add food coloring make it whatever color you want but since I'm going to be using clear tape it will show through so you can see it but I would recommend using some thicker tape if you're going to be taking this into the field or doing anything real with this so we'll add the cup of water. We'll let that mix around a bit. Get our plastic knife in here. And since it is a little bit more than, you know, uh, two, two cups in here of uh, cornstarch, we're probably going to add a bit more water. And I didn't go to the top of the measuring cup because I didn't want to spill any. But we will see how this turns out bring it to the front so you can see this mixing process as you can see it's turning purple try and break up all those nugs I would get my hands in there in fact I might have to but uh you probably can use the bag to mix it up as well we'll set that down close up the bag and see if we can just mix it with our hands now, if you haven't uh, searched up any videos of non-Newtonian fluid, uh, you definitely should. It looks a lot cooler when not in the bag and works a lot better, uh, you know, to, to see it. But it looks like we're getting a pretty good mixture here. It might be a little too liquidy, possibly. But we're trying to get as much of that cornstarch broken up and mixed in with this water and it should start to get really thick at least while you're doing this we're getting a good mixture now see how when I turn the bag it doesn't instantly go down like water it's kinda of sludging it its way down that's how you know you got a good mixture and uh, non-Newtonian fluids at least uh, you know, sheer thickening non-Newtonian fluids. When it has, uh, you know, pressure, you know, is, is sheared, it gets thicker, it hardens. And that's what we're going for with this, if you can make, you know, uh, kind of impact resistant plates that work really well and can be soft. Uh, this could be integrated, I'm thinking, into, you know, some uh, uh, armored hoods or something like that, so it has a lot more uh, movement to it. It then thickens up when it comes under that contact of pressure. So see, we got a good mix here. Now once you have it mixed up pretty well, you can uh, begin to tape the top. So what I like to do is just, you know, kind of set it up. Grab some tape. Like I said, uh, this could be used for a lot of good things that I'm uh, hopefully going to be making in the future, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like, and share. Uh, definitely some, some dope projects coming in the future with the non-Newtonian fluids, especially if I can get my hands on some more, uh, some more crazier stuff than just blue black. But start off with the top. Obviously, try to seal your bag as much as possible. Sometimes it won't happen if you got a lot of the crudded up Newtonian stuff in there. 
but try to do it as well as possible. Oh, it's kind of tipping. I like to give it one fold and then tape on that as well just to really make sure you don't just have an explosion of Newtonian fluid on your on your chest. Mickey face. Throw one more on there. And that should be pretty good as, as your seal. If you're worried, you know, tape it some more. But now that we got a nice mixture of non-Newtonian fluid, kind of hard to see, we can uh, kind of flatten it out. And tape it in almost into a, a brick shape. Now you want to leave it some room to uh, absorb force. But uh, this is just to give it a general rectangle shape to keep it in that, that form that you want. Just kind of zigzag and diagonal it. And then after this I would, I would go over with some more layers. But this is pretty good. Now you can, if you have your vest made up, slide it right on in. If you're having a bit of trouble fitting it in, just kind of let it sink. And then put it in a bit, let it sink. Obviously you want to have enough that it fills up to a certain point of the vest. But isn't enough that it'll explode from direct impact from, you know, filling the bag too much. So mine goes to about there. So that's a pretty good pouch of non-Newtonian fluid that's going to be absorbing some, some decent hits. Some pretty good stuff. Uh, tell me how yours went. Like I said, uh, like make sure to comment, like, share, subscribe. The usual stuff. Very appreciative. Uh, and we'll have some more future non-Newtonian stuff. Maybe a non-Newtonian fluid hood or some other armor pieces that may be harder to do with more solid stuff. But uh, check out those videos, check out our past videos, and uh, thanks for watching. Bone Fist out.